What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to another episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana and this will be an hour special and will hopefully result in the destruction of the Cherokee faction. But to kick off where we left off we are attacking the garrison here at Williamsburg and hopefully this one goes a lot better than my last attack which was pretty damn dodgy. So without further ado, let us a fight, let us fight. I was about to say let us attack, let us fight. <laughs> oh dear dear dear. Um, anyway, this is a stepping stone onto our invasion of, of attacked us. Well, they, they have tried to take the territory of Quebec from us. So let's remember... Remember what happened last time with the Cherokee. Let's make sure we do want to have the clear ground in front of us in order to maximise our killing power before our lines meet. Because that is where they... that is when they really screw you up. Is when they... they can advance to your lines stealthed. You can't see them. And then they just screw you up at close range because in melee... in melee they are still very good. But at the very least, this time around, we've got lots more cavalry. So let's deploy it forward. Because right now, their chief is the only viable target, and I'm more than happy to attack him. Damn, took that guy right off his horse. So our mercenaries are hidden. So as far as they're concerned, they see a massive gap in the middle of our line, which they know isn't empty. So these guys don't have bayonets, but when they get into the combat, they pick out tomahawks, I think. Try get visibility on where their men are hidden. I want to think there's somewhere back here. So the job of my cavalry isn't necessary to engage, it is to just identify them. Okay, there we go, we've got some. There we go. We have new targets. They've stealthed again. Just two units. They've got a whole garrison. There's another unit hidden back there. Native bowmen. It's probably where a good chunk of them are, really. Back over mobile. Let's not let them get pinned. But that's not all of them. So, yeah, so one of them just disappeared back here. It's going to colonial light to hit this Bowman unit. Bowman unit. Ah, there they there's a bunch of them. So 
So those guys can attack the bowmen because bowmen's a very, very vulnerable unit. I'm more than happy to let my cavalry hit them, but obviously I don't want to get, get, get you know, sucked into uh, this entire block of bowmen that will kill my men. Is the general still back here? Okay, let's start switching to cameras to shot, even though they're not quite in range. They will get there. So I'm not looking to destroy them, I'm looking to shatter them and get my men the hell out of dodge because they're about to get swarmed. Let's march my cuirassiers towards their general. Okay, shattered, so let's bring my cavalry back. You guys fire it well on. Too bad about the sound bug. There they go. Charge this bowman manually, turn fire it well off for them. Now my heavy cavalry can charge in. Native American warriors? I don't think so, Buster. Oh, damn! That's a... Curiosity has found them all right. Just keep on knocking them down. Okay, let's pick you some new targets. Massive chunk of men coming right at us. Okay, they're shattered, so just bring them back. Well, they're not actually shattered. But yeah, let this wave of troops head our way. Make sure our dudes are hoiking round shot at them. Keep our 
cavalry together. Now, these guys are going to successfully rout, but that doesn't matter. It just means that they've now left the field because we are attacking a city, so we've got to remember certain things don't matter. Okay, now we can march. I mean, it's really light cavalry, but march them around to try and see if we can intercept the general. Yes, let's not worry about you. You guys hit those native warriors. They're coming within range of my muskets. You're very experienced bowmen as well. Bowmen, you hit these musketmen. Bring you guys in to hit the warriors because they're my cuirassiers. These guys are just musketmen, so they should fall pretty quickly. Warriors, yeah, they've broken. Charge through into this unit of warriors. Get all the artillery to focus on the chief's bodyguard. There you go, they're all hooting. But they're about to get squashed. Some of them have come back. Make sure they don't come back. The artillery is pounding the hell out of the chief's bodyguard. Now my cavalry is going to run on as a swarm. Although they are going to hit our lines up here. But see. That's what I consider a win. You managed to destroy the native factions without letting them ever actually make contact with your line. And that's gone pretty darn well. Although all my artillery now focus on that bow unit. We're going to continue because this is actually quite an, a nice way to not farm kills but gather some good experience opportunities for my cavalry force. Pity I didn't get my general involved in it but there we are. Now as per usual your goal is to just keep your cavalry force occupied. You're going to go help them. Keep mowing down the natives. Then we could form a coherent Louisianan state, which will allow us to then attack overseas without fear of being attacked by unfriendly elements in the rear. not necessary at all this bit we're doing here because we do have the we have attacked town so we do win you now the garrison is destroyed but it is just to add a couple of chevrons of experience because for some of my units they're not as when i repair them or replenish them they'll gain a whole 
bunch of experience and not lose it. There we go. So let's destroy their capital building. Let's replace it with ours. Let's upgrade the cotton plantation. Destroy their communal farming. Build out the roads. Then this garrison here at Annapolis. You can leave the town? Yes, you can. Despite not being completely Catholic, you've lost... You've got rid of all of the uh, unhappiness. Oh, I forgot about Britain. It was super annoying. And they took Georgia. I mean, I have to try and buy off of them. So for you, 25 grand. Okay, what about 30 grand? Oh god, that was close. I almost just gave it to them. Forty grand just once. Well, it looks like someone's asking for an attack. That's what they're asking for. These guys could march on and hit uh, their new capital, but I don't fancy it. This turn, you guys, let's go take Florida. And Black Britain, which means our trade, our trade nodes in East and Madagascar are significantly. Uh, more vulnerable because they are they're three br oh I f i'm an idiot <laughs> i'm an idiot i'm an idiot i'm an idiot why have i done this see i attacked and then i thought aha good let's just attack and then i remembered last time i said no that's a bad idea because they've got loads of melee <laughs> Very good melee units that I don't have. So we're going to have to play this very carefully. I mean, I could just retreat, but meh. I mean, judging by that, they're... I was going to say, like, they're definitely in there. Speed up time. So I think the aim of the game here is the slow and steady approach. Focus on trying to draw them out of the fort as I'm advancing up to it. Rather than charging them. Because they do have a lot of bowman units. So it's not impossible. But it's certainly not optimal to be scaling the walls up against because I mean they've got more men than this they're just hidden that's probably what the game's going to be about luring them out and what I'd like to do is if these guys can damage the fort quickly enough we might be able to destroy this one soon afterwards and trap a bunch of their units up on the walls. I mean, they are catching on, so it's not... It is no guarantee. Come on, you guys. Ooh. Hmm. So... Okay, we've taken that. Let's try to destroy that quickly. Loads of them have just have gone hidden, so maybe we might get more of them than we think. Yep. Let's push up.
see if I can get them to actually attack the units inside the fort. Because sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It depends on the the angle. Yeah, no, that's not happening. No, they're just they're just firing in a straight line. Because you want to look and go, ah, these must be all empty. No, there's a bunch of angry Cherokee in there. So the way to do it, I think, is something like that. Then maybe send three units around this direction three units around this direction probably send cavalry around each flank as well where's my Cherokee creep them up as well hidden same with my scouts Put a hole in the uh, the gate as well. Don't normally attack the gate. There's never really a need to. Uh, this unit here. Hit this unit where the bowmen are. Perhaps tribal gunners are firing at something or someone. Make sure we got our guys covering the center at least. Guards in, we'll say the Warrior Society. The artillery pound the breach. Looks like they might all be in the centre actually, so maybe some of our flanking units might get some some opportunities. Side, it should be thrown back. Let's run my man up to the wall. they come out, I want to jump on those tribal gunners. So they have marched a bowman unit out, which is... This, see, that's the kind of action I want them to uh, attempt to do. Slowly, slowly. So I don't know where all their guys are. I 
So another unit coaxed out. Yeah, look at that. That's a lot of troops. Lancers. I mean, the fort is open. I don't quite know why. not where I want them. Okay, let's set up line infantry like so. Where's my grenadiers? Get them out of this fight because we are sucking in a lot of their troops. So that's a good opportunity there. Create a little kill box. It does me bad times for the native warrior auxiliary. Too bad about the sound bug. Don't hit the tribal gunners, just let my men fire off their rounds naturally. Nope, you guys get into position. My grand is to pour fire into the sec into the uh, centre. We've captured the gate, so now they can't charge out of it. They're starting to push out through the front. They shouldn't be able to open that gate because it's now ours. What I want is my men to get on the walls and get onto firing positions. Hey, we took all of the positions. So if they want, we took all of the gates with that one. Okay, the gate's now open. So let's charge this unit in because obviously we want them. So we want someone to hold the gate. They're also going to charge up the front here. Which puts them at a significant... I mean... I yeah, really, really hate making them attack anyone. Run this militia unit over. So the unit in here is not doing very well at all. But soon these guys will be in position, firing down. These guys are bowmen, these guys are bowmen and there's some armed tribesmen. You guys just need to open fire onto the, the ones you can see. Some of them are. My cavalry lost that fight over there. Bring my general a bit closer. So you climb up, you go to the 
front area. You guys climb up. Because when you're up, what I want is hopefully this guy to show you. There we go. So I might not want them to charge down, but they can take the wall and fire into the enemy's positions. So let's march. Let's go ideas through. We should have lost the fellas in the gate because my men are firing down. These men are all bowmen, which in theory I think I should probably win against. My grenadiers I'm just to run in and get into a firing position. Oh yes, my cavalry can now charge in. Obviously, some of them have to come back. They can just fire into the centre. Charge my cuirassier into the chief's bodyguard. You guys charge into the flank of the bowmen. Yeah, these armed tribesmen are causing problems. Now you guys are ready to charge in. Grenadiers are tangling with the general. You guys hit the bowmen. The cuirassiers will probably take out the warriors. And they've got the weird sound bug again. So you might go hit. Go hit these garrison bowmen. My men keep hitting the tribesmen. But yeah, if my guys can get behind these guys and cause their morale to break. General's bodyguard is managing to survive. There you go, my grenadiers have gone down to the rear and hit to hit the. These are all bowmen, I think. Garrison bowmen, bowmen, bowmen. Their generals managed to escape. Escape my wrath. Let's go get in with my cuirassiers. See if we can knock out their general's unit. You guys take position in the center and just hold it. Oh no, they've all broken. Okay, well, that is how you attack a Cherokee held city. And slowly and try and lure some of them out of the breaches. Destroy the Confederation of Tribes. Replenish my guys. Upgrade the roads. Destroy the farms because they can't be upgraded. Let's upgrade your sugar plantation. Is this the really bad one? It is. Don't, so don't worry about him. Uh, let's upgrade the plantation. Let's upgrade. The roads. Okay, everyone's being replenished, everyone's being upgraded. We do have this 
little bundle of troops to the rear, which we can't really deal with. Which is a bit frustrating, but there we are. This is now a full tier navy. So, where to send it? Looks like it's just it's just the one Royal Navy stack there, actually. So let's take Mr. Marmont and his fleet. Send them over to East Africa so you can bolster our naval forces there. And let's start to build up our next fleet. Yes. Yeah, you're a full strength. Ready for action. You investigate the East Indies trade area. Try to see if you can find any spots to deposit trade ships. You can actually go with them. You're still holding them in. We've still got a, a really nice Caribbean fleet in position. Our troops in Central America are on their way up. You are actually in position to take Guatemala and destroy the new Spanish faction. I'm going to maintain siege here and let these guys march up. Or at least hope they can get a bit closer. Can you guys leave New Mexico? Maybe if I don't tax them, but I want to tax them, so don't. But the main effort is on the Cherokee front. Cannot, no, don't upgrade the Iron Masters works yet, because we do have enemy tribes abound. I'm going to try and upgrade this and break down the communal farming just to see if we can lure them back east. Still got a whole bunch of resistance to foreign occupation. I'm going to upgrade the Classic University because we've got the garrison down to the south instead. Get these mortars up to Quebec. Good. Okie dokie, we've only got two grand left. Let's hit enter. Yeah, there go the British. So their priest is so bad, he doesn't actually convert anyone. So <laughs> he's fine. They didn't want trade for the Northwest Territories. Uh, counter offer, how about no? I just trade. Fine. <laughs> they demand an alliance and New Mexico. Territory right at the back. Counter offer. Just that. And that. Just an alliance, Austria. I don't want to give you territory. I am willing to extend. Spaniards have. Spaniards retaken Madrid. They managed to rustle up some troops from somewhere and then they fight. I do like how the game is turning out. We are starting to get a large number of superpowers actually in the game. So we've got Austria's superpower, Sweden's growing into a superpower. It gives you ooh, ooh, big defense. Yes please. quite nice but let's see what the terrain is like before we pat ourselves on the back too hilly and just a bit pants but actually it's it's a bit hilly okay we're going to ad advance to get into a better position slightly forward of the ridge Some of our 
elite troops to form the, f the flanking brigades. Get ready to charge our cavalry. They've deployed quite aggressively. But it's still a good position for us to march up into. So we are surprisingly close. Native Bowman Auxiliary marching up. But they're within range of my musketeers. So I expect them to fall fairly easily. Slightly off position where I originally wanted you. There we go, we've started our line battle with their colonial line infantry, which looked pretty good. Not as good as our troops though. Okay, Royal Escocet, pivot you to get you within range. To contribute. Let's get my guns unlimbered. Could deploy some guns back here really. Might do that. Close up our infantry position. So the reinforcements coming on from way back here. So this is the garrison. So they, their army is attempting to relieve the garrison, and by doing so, they will be destroyed. Pivot these guys a bit, so they're not. So they aren't directly in the way of being fired upon. Comes the light cavalry, it's unnumbered this artillery. Oh yes, they've been shot to pieces because this infantry is damn elite. 58 accuracy. That's so good. See this regular line of infantry that's already three chevrons, that's pretty good. This unit here that's 48. Damn. 56, 58 accuracy is devastatingly good. But it's battles like these that really help drive up your experience. Because the key to gaining experience on your units is to maximise kills and minimise casualties. So situations like this, they'll all get a few kills against this guy. And they won't lose many men because of it. Okay, let's bring Colonial Light Unit in to knock out these guns. I mean, that's what you guys should pro are probably focusing on that anyway. Yeah. There we go, they've lost all their gun teams. General's bodyguards getting involved. They want to stop us from attacking their routing men. Another general's bodyguard. I wonder which one the actual general is. These men are being gunned down. Oh, cavalry not really needed over here on this flank. Here come their marching columns of infantry running to try and save them. And it will not. Okay, let's retarget our artillery to make sure they're not attacking anyone too far out of their way. I think that might be their artillery, actually.
poor, poor unit of militia. Okay, let's start to make some offensive moves. Our artillery right at the rear probably can't attack their guns in response, but we can pick at their troops coming in. Let's recall my cavalry. Yeah, they're going for my cavalry. Damn! Start to make some offensive actions. This gun team to the rear can stay limbered up. You guys might have to run to make sure you get into position first. But these guns here that I've limbered up, ideally I'd like to move them up. But I'm not quite sure where. Just move them up for now. Because we have a column to attack. Garrison, clean your line. Garrison the militia. Yep. You men could have defended behind walls, but instead you elected to march out and you will suffer the consequences. Let's keep this cavalry flanking around the safety of the mountains to maybe try some attacks against their artillery, although they do have a lot of a lot of uh, infantry marching in. But it's up to the 4th Regiment of Militia to hold the line, at least for a while. Push up. They routed under the view of our guns. 23rd Regiment moving to try and intercept my cavalry, it would appear. Now your hand will be forced. There we go, there go the 17th Regiment afoot. just massacred by volley fire. Twentieth is falling back. My men are going to be very tired. Run slightly out of the direction of my get my line. Damn it! For the thirty-second assault, the fourteenth. You might have been tired. Bayonets raised. The bayonet action will be short and sweet. Men are charging the 14th. I 
32nd. He may lose some experience in this battle in the long run. Come on, leave your guns exposed. Thirty second, make position, take, make up positions. There we go. Take up positions. Keep being offensive because right now we are at the, the bottom of the hill. We want to be it towards the top. See, even though my men are tired and would love a break, they will not be allowed one. The sick light horse charge the fourth regiment of militia. There we go. So my guns that are all the way back here, not really doing anything could do something from up here. Although it's rather unfortunate that a cannon shot landed right where I dumped it, right where I clicked, but there we are. Clone your line, infantry. They think they're holding their line. Fire by rank, you will break very quickly. Take the hill and hold the elevated ground. And now the rear areas are sufficiently lightly guarded. Now it's time for our cavalry to pounce. Lovely offensive action which leaving a trail of Spanish bodies wherever we go. Yeah, they've smashed into the firelock arm citizenry. Stronger units here. Though I've been waiting just for this moment, going after the guns. Poor souls, the 2nd Regiment marching into the gunfire. There we go. The gunners have fallen. The citizenry have fallen. The garrison has fallen. The end is nigh. is to destroy the leftovers of their force which will be done imminently the new men can take positions up on this hill along with the grenadiers in the event that they return artillery at the rear stop firing go. These men are trying to march back to deal with the, 
cavalry loose in the rear, but it will not work. As these men reposition, the 4th Grenadier Regiment is ready. Seventh is going to die. Let's march you guys around a bit. There we go. Some men remain. Fire lock arm citizenry. go the sixth light horse to charge their second fire lock arm citizenry not going to be necessary they have been broken all that remains is this last year to fire lock arm citizenry where the first foot guards will take the opening shots wavering within one volley Broken with the second. And just dead with the third. Excellent. That's quite a nice offensive battle. Staying all the way back here and working our way across the map. Sweet. Decisive victory indeed. There we go. We lost 588. They lost almost everyone they got. So that reinforcement army is destroyed. The garrison is significantly neutered. <laughs> the Moogles are moving out. The Cherokee are desperately going to try and figure out how to do something. Hmm. Sp Spanish agent. We have a new town. Brunswick in Maine. Have a craft workshop. New traps. Upgrade the magistrate. Upgrade the farm. Roads are being built. You guys upgrade your governor's residence. To be honest then, good sir, you may as well wait. You have no role to play yet. Let's fix the government building, let's build the farms, let's upgrade the workshop. This army that's unbloodied is going into action. We'll be going into action in Teleco, but first I'm going to actually do a bit of management. Chiefly because the episode is almost over. I'm not going to fight that battle, so I may as well let that be the start of the next episode while I do some upgrades. I mean, I could Settlement attack the city of Antigua. It's two battles for the next episode. Don't upgrade the yet, because I would very much like to get steam engines. Steam dry dock. Pick up a sloop. Upgrade the mill. Don't worry, Moguls. I'll be coming after you soon. Once we've secured the Americas. Once we've secured the Americas, slash, got an army right here ready to jump onto uh, Charleston. I'm not going to declare war on Britain. I would very much like to focus on the, the, uh, the Americas for the moment. Maybe send an army to go take Lisbon, just so I've got a foot in the door of a European war. But I would like to smash the Mughals and then start converting them all to Catholicism. Um, you are just holding holding your position to respond to wherever these fellows go. Let's upgrade the farm. Just keep the replenishment going. Let's you know, see if we can demand their surrender. Nope. Unfortunate. Um, but what I'm probably going to do is consider this the episode finished because I don't think there's a lot else I can do except maybe... Okay, let's take Admiral's flagship, third rate. 
heavy frigate. I can own 15 of those. But let's start to build a uh, trade fleet. So I'm going to say let's have an admiral to command it with a series with a stack of fifths. Compromise is quite a good trade fleet. Um, new farms have been built. Palatial estates are good because they help prevent and help prevent food shortages and they actually make they increase the happiness of the nobility. If that's ever a problem with a absolute monarchy, which I don't think it is. Sorry. You, to be honest, may as well march back to Cartagena, ready to be shipped overseas. Um, I think because we just fought this battle, let's take this fella and attack the garrison, and that will be the start of our next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the new Spaniards and the beginning of preparations for war against the Mughal Empire. Cheers, everyone.